Well guys, it happened. Just like what happened to SM2 last year, just earlier today, Activision issued a cease and desist to H2M, meaning they have to shut down Effective immediately, and this was just hours before it was supposed to launch. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, I advise you to go check out my last two videos where I was playing it, but basically it's a Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer remaster mod that was coming out this week. It was actually supposed to release tomorrow, but because of a leak that happened, they were actually going to release it later today as a surprise, and it just didn't happen. Hours before release, they got the C&D. Like I said, I already have two videos up showing what the game is like. If any anyone is interested but I actually recorded a video specifically for my niche which is trick shotting and I was editing it and getting ready to drop it for you guys when this happened. I'm sure that there's gonna be like leaked builds that go around and stuff but download those at your own risk they're not involved with H2M at all. They've shut down operations effective immediately, their discord doesn't work, their twitter, their website, they're done. But now that this happened I'm just still gonna upload the video to show you guys what could have been. It's actually kind of depressing watching this video back because you can see how excited I was for launch but hey that's what happens when greedy money hungry corporations get involved huh? Also I still have a bunch of early access footage that you guys haven't seen yet including unseen trick shots if this video does good and i don't get in trouble for it hopefully let's knock on wood i'll drop that video next so drop a like if you want it without further ado enjoy what could have been Welcome back everyone. That was your first look at what an MW2 remastered trickshot montage would look like. Shout out to Sue and Nathan for absolutely killing the edit. I didn't even know he was going to use my shot and that was actually my second shot on the game so far. I'm going to show you guys my reaction to that shot in my next video because I actually have another banger for today's video. I'm going to be showing you guys my first clip on the game and not only that but we're also going to be going over everything you need to know before H2M releases tomorrow and if you want a trick shot on it. I know you guys have been waiting for this video and I got a bunch to cover so let's get into it. Alright so starting off with some extra info that I forgot got to put in last video and that I've realized since I recorded it as the game's grown on me a lot more that was my first impressions after all I don't know how I forgot this but this game is obviously PC only it is a mod after all so it can't come to consoles or anything like that also contrary to popular belief this client actually does not have matchmaking it's gonna be like a server browser just like all the other clients with all the servers you can join and people are gonna be asking well then how are we gonna six man and there's like a few band-aids you can put on that problem like a few little workarounds none of them are perfect but the shake himself is working on some big brain ways to make this work all I'm gonna say is if you guys remember Shake and Destroy, then you know he's cooking. Also, that just made me think of Shake and Gun Game, which isn't in this game yet. I don't even know if it's a possibility or if it's coming or anything like that. But this game actually has normal gun game, so you can go for a throw knife trick shot at last because it does have the MW2 gun set instead of the MWR one. Also, like other clients, there's native controller support, but if you are using a PS5 controller like I do, then you are gonna use DS4 Windows or any PlayStation controller, PS4 as well. I'm not gonna go over how to set that up because there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube for DS4 Windows, but once you get that set up, you should be good to go and the Xbox controller all you have to do is plug it in and play so you should definitely be good to go as well also last video I didn't get to show these off because I didn't have an unlock all yet but look at all these mastery camos I got now I get to flex on you guys look how beautiful they are and don't worry creators aren't getting an unfair advantage getting an unlock all or anything our stats are gonna get reset just like everyone else who got it early and we're all gonna have to grind we're all on the same equal playing field here also while I'm in the class menu if we go into death streaks you guys are actually gonna see that painkiller now takes five deaths in a row to get I'm pretty sure back in the day this was three on the OG MW2 it might have been four pretty sure three though but because it's five now hopefully painkiller hit markers will not be as brutal i don't even know why they brought it back but hey they wanted to stay true to the original i guess speaking of staying true to the original you guys might know mwr normally only has three kill streaks which are the uav airstrike and then helicopter at three five and seven but one of the crazy things they did is they actually remade all of the og mw2 kill streaks on this engine and they're in this game you can use an ac-130 you can use a chopper gunner emp nuke even and a few of them like the predator missile and the care package actually come in useful for today's main topic what this video is actually all about which is trick shotting honestly the trick shotting is a healthy mix of modern warfare 2 like the og one from 2009 and modern warfare remastered if you can trick shot on either of those games you'll be fine for this game but if you can trick shot on both of them then you're gonna be goaded literally cracked out of your mind obviously both of those games have yy so thank god you can do that again and not like the new yy you can yy and you can instantly shoot after not like mw3 or mw22 you guys know what i mean they also brought back the ability to care package stall however i noticed a few spots actually messed up and they'll just float in the air like if you put on terminal red roof or if you put it on the plane on terminal it's just gonna be chill and float in there i don't know i think this is actually kind of cool for trick shotting i don't know if they're gonna fix it i'm sure they will because nobody wants a floating care package besides us trick shotters actually the casuals might complain but like i don't know is this a good thing for us we might be able to do something cool with it
with it like get stuck under it or i don't know you guys can brainstorm unfortunately if you're sean you won't be able to but they did bring back the ability to rpg fast swap in this game as well the rpg is a secondary it's not a perk like mwr and yeah it's just like the og mw2 i'm pretty sure if you're on lower fps though it's easier i don't remember if that was a thing i'm pretty sure though but also back from the og mw2 i think this is what most people actually care about we get a lot of the og mw2 mechanics back like you can over the shoulder you can still swap you can sprint swap basically all the animations that require sprinting you can also glide but it doesn't look totally right yet i actually think they're working on fixing that in the next update though also all of the og mw2 attachments are back so you're gonna have the attack knife and the kimbo so you can do a bunch of shots with those unfortunately though not all of them you can't catwalk or attack knife flip which is unfortunate those are like the main animations with attack knife but catwalks just like glides because the same animation but with a different gun they actually both plan for the next update but to make up for it this game actually takes one of the main things that was great for trick shotting in mwr which was inspects i know you guys are familiar with them they're in all the new cards and they're beautiful the team absolutely snapped on remaking these because like i said a lot of the trick shotting animations aren't the same but they had us in mind for sure there's no wrist twist but certain pistol animations like the usb inspect it mimics a wrist twist so you can do something cool with that they also pay homage to the tac knife flip when you inspect your pistol with a tac knife attachment on it does this cool little knife flip animation you guys will love it but yeah certain attachments you put on are gonna change your inspect animation so you can have like multiple different for the same gun you can have one for like a normal pistol then one with a tac knife one with a kimbo etc also back from the original modern warfare 2 is the kimbo pistol flicker gun glitch or i don't know if it's called the flicker that's what i always called it personally basically it's the one where you have two akimbo pistols and you reload them and it's not a knack timing or anything you can do this at any point in the reload but you just pull out your equipment and it'll have like the left one stay on the screen real quick and like flicker while the right one disappears for the grenade or any equipment you pull out it's actually really easy to do you literally just pull out an equipment while you're reloading akimbo pistols and also showing some love to the og mw2 animations they had to bring back the model flip so when you shoot it you can flip them like i think people might have called that the broken wing back in the day but yeah the model 1887 akimbo flip another thing this game actually took from mwr that's dope for trick shotting is the ability to have a melee weapon and in mwr i'm not gonna lie i liked it a lot because that was actually how you would insta swap well it was one of the main methods but basically you would have like three weapons on your class you would have your primary you would have your secondary and then the melee and you would like switch to your melee in between the primary and secondary that's how you do it but in this version of this game you can't do that but they did actually make them all secondaries in the game so if you want to replace like your pistol or launcher machine pistol whatever with a melee you now have the ability to these all have cool inspects too and i'm pretty sure like all the movement people are gonna love them i'm sure you can whip around with them i haven't tried it yet normally you can move fastest with the pistol but i'm sure the movement demons are gonna figure something out also something unlike the og mw2 something that came a little bit later on in mwr with the dlc weapons but the pistols actually have can swaps when you pull them out now and i don't know if every single one does or if it's attachment based or what but i know the magnum does and it looks dumb clean oh yeah going back to the og mw2 you can also fade shot that's a classic actually though the infinite fades felt a little weird to me i don't know if you can infinite fade like the normal way you might be able to do it though with canceling equipment because you can cancel equipment dumb quick oh yeah the throwing knife doesn't go sideways when you silent shot so personally my favorite new equipment is the semtex i love the animation on it i think they made it look way better even though it kind of is a little wonky when you throw it and obviously with infinite fading you can fake silent shot as well i would probably do it with the semtex in this game though or one of the other equipments because like i said the throwing knife you just don't get the head tilt anymore and come on you need the head tilt when you hit the silent shot another huge quality of life change is you can actually cancel tactical equipments now so you can cancel your stun grenade flash grenade i'm pretty sure smoke i haven't tested smoke yet but if you can do smoke you'll be watching the footage in the background right now and you can see how it looks personally out of stun and flash i like flash a little bit more which back in the og mw2 days i was a stun guy all day it was way quicker but it's actually a little bit too quick in this game you don't really get to see the animation and the flash pull out is just perfect you get to see like a really clean animation with it you can also see line them really quick and i'm pretty sure you can do it with like a flash and semtex as well so you can come up with some banger combos with that oh yeah they brought over some mwr guns as well so you got like the ak-74u the m 191145 i don't know if they have cancel ops i'm pretty sure they do maybe i don't know i might just be talking out of my ass they also got the w1200 shotgun though and i'm pretty sure it shares the same properties as the spas 12 well i should say the spas kind of like copied the w1200 because you can actually money knack them both and you couldn't money knack the spas 12 and the og mw2 unless you were in spec ops you actually couldn't there fun fact another classic mw2 shot where you have the at4 can swap it as your secondary you can do it one time but back in the day you could shoot your at4 rocket and then every time you pulled it out with no ammo you could continuously go for it over and over i think later down the road they're gonna work on a patch for this it's not like a priority right now but unfortunately right now when you shoot your at4 as your secondary when you go to pull it back out to get the can swap you actually have no weapon at all when you shoot it and you have no ammo it just drops the weapon you have no gun now you can't even yy or anything like that because you have no secondary at all not even one with no ammo so yeah until further notice probably don't use that at4 i don't know if i mentioned the last video when i was talking about sniping my first impressions this game is actually really cool because they let you decide what render scope you want to use so you can use the 2d one from like the og cards like the mw2 bo2 scope we all know and love or 
you can choose to use like the new 3D scope that the new Call of Duty's have where you can see like all the outside and it's blurred instead of all black. Probably a pretty bad way to describe it, but like the one that's in MWR. Personally, I like the 2D one more anyway for sniping, but you're actually definitely gonna wanna put it on for trick shotting. The reason for this is the animations are just way smoother with this. So if you wanna throw a scope in your shot or somewhere, it's just gonna look way cleaner and not do like the 3D blur. And like, I think it even doesn't slow down. I'm not positive about that. Actually, it slows down a little bit, I think, but like the 3D one, you'll notice a difference. It's not as clean at all. I haven't got to mess around with ACOG yet, but if there's anything cool you can do with it that you couldn't do in like the OG MW2 or MWR, I'll put it on the screen right now. But thermal actually has something cool you can do with it and that's disable it. So the thermal scope is always a 2D one. You can't do like the 3D one where it's blurry on the other side like I was talking about before. But if you aim in, you can actually toggle the thermal on and off. And I was going for some pretty cool shots doing this, like doing a zoom load and then toggling it or doing an inspect zoom. I know people are gonna come up with big brain combos with that one. Maybe even find a way to do like permanent thermal vision. We'll have to see. Also the frag mantle, like fake knack method from Modern Warfare Mastered and I guess from a lot of Call of Duties. It actually works on this game. However, a lot of the variations you can do with it don't work. Like you can't do the half invisible gun thing where you go on the ladder and tap it. But even though you can do all the rail knacks and then even like the fake knacks like the money knack and the rpg fast swap you can actually fake knack as well and hands down my favorite trick shot they brought over from mwr i already talked about how they brought the inspects back and how i loved that and they're going to be beautiful for trick shotting but there's a variation you can do with them that is dumb clean if you played any mwr you might remember the inspect zoom which is a really easy trick shot to do they actually patched it early on in mwr but there's a new way to do it and basically all you have to do is throw your equipment so your tactical or your frag or in this game throw a knife whatever just make sure you have no lethal or tactical equipment let me refer of that you only have to have one of them empty so you can have no tacticals or no lethals but you don't have to have both empty but yeah all you're gonna do is start inspecting tap the button to throw the grenade which you don't have like the lethal or tactical button and then that's gonna like glitch out the animation all you have to do is aim in and you can aim in during the inspect which makes for some crazy animations you can mess around with this a lot you can do it with like the thermal disabling thing you can do it with the 3d scope or 2d scope and you can get different variations of it oh yeah and you can actually do it with the rpg as well but you don't need to do anything related to your equipment at all you can have your lethal and tactical all you have to do with the RPG is just start the inspect and then aim in, but not actually aim in. You actually shoot, and when you shoot, it aims in for you. And then you can just inspect zoom it at any time while it's aiming in before it like does the RPG fast swap. You guys look at the hang of it quick. It's really easy to time. As far as glitches that are unique to this game go, I've actually already found a few. And I know when the game comes out, people are bound to find a bunch more because I'm not even good at finding glitches and the game isn't even out yet. So if I found like two now, then I know people are gonna be going crazy. I actually accidentally found this way to reverse reload out of running or moonwalking, which I'm showing off on the screen right now and i didn't get any footage showing it off but you can actually zoom load out of it since it's like a fake reload so definitely gonna be a lot of steezy ogk style combos with that also there's another really nice looking glitch that's unique to this game and i've actually hit it twice now basically if you have a kimbo weapons you can actually shoot one of your guns to cancel the inspect while you still inspect the other one but yeah for example you shoot your right gun while it's inspecting it's gonna stop inspecting and only the left one will be and then you can do like a sprint swap or a still swap with the right one that one actually looks really dope which is why i ended up hitting it the little still swap out of the inspect which you guys will see later on and since i found this i don't know i think instead of the knack swap that's been around for like 12 years now i think it's time to finally invent the next swap that was a joke by the way just a really bad one but moving on i also put out this tweet right here where i asked trick shotters what they want to see in this video i'm making and i'm going to try to include as much of it as possible i can't even lie this is fucked he tried to beast me here i got a girlfriend seafish come on now but yeah real quick i'm going to scroll through these replies and if i see anything i didn't cover and that i know about i'll go over it real quick like a little q a because i'm pretty sure i covered everything i'm interested about but i'm sure there's a lot that you you guys interested about that i did not all right so scrolling down you're gonna show off knacks and stuff like that dude how could i forget versi dude i'm actually a dumbass yes you can 100 percent knack and you can do a bunch of them too like i said you can money knack with the spaz 12 and w 1200 but that's not even close to it you can reload knack as well you can titty knack i don't know if you can scree and stuff but i think you can on the mwr engine right i'm not good at that stuff but i'm assuming if they're mixing the mw2 engine with the mwr engine which was already pretty good for knacks and stuff i honestly wouldn't be surprised if you can do most of them moving on i went over tag flips glides and care package shots but i did not go over louder stalls and yeah they're like the mwr engine just like zip said you can louder stall perfectly fine although i will say ladders are a little bit weird you have to like look straight up in the air while you're going up them just like all the other pc call of duties you can go up it normally but you'll just go up like really slow and the more down you're looking the slower you're gonna go up but yeah you can louder stall you can top spin i'm pretty sure you can even like koala climb monkey climb or monkey stall whatever it's called her there are bounces what are they like cod four type beat or deep patch or just the hard pinches mwr already has i'm glad you asked nugs i know the bounces aren't gonna be happy 
happy about this, but this deep patch naturally built into this game across all of the servers. I'm pretty sure it's client based. All of the Modern Warfare Mastered maps actually now have the COD 4 bounces as well as I'm pretty sure bomb bounces. I'm assuming if it's deep patch, right? I don't know. I'm personally not much of a bounce at all, but I did see that they weren't happy about this. But I do think it makes it a little bit more accessible to people that want to get into bouncing and it makes it a little less gate kept. I don't know. At the same time, I feel bad for the niche of the bounces that have been doing it for so long. And they're going for all these hard bounces now. Anyone can just come in or not anyone, but it's easier to hit these deep patch ones for sure. I don't know. There's like a whole debate on that on Twitter. I don't want to get too much into that, but I'm happy with it either way. I don't bounce much. It really doesn't affect me, but yeah, deep patch at the moment. Like I said, though, I did see a lot of backlash about it on Twitter. So who knows? Maybe they'll change it. I want to see some lag mechanics. Well, I'm personally not really good at all the laggy shots, but if you can do the pad packets thing, which is SV pad packets in the console, I'm not going to lie. I don't really know many of the lag mechanics or any of the knacks you can do with it or anything, but I will test out lag in general. I'll do the SV pad packets thing in private match. I'll see if it's even in the console. And if it is, you know what? I'll see if you can wild scope because I know you can't in MWR. Oh yeah, you can zoom load. I haven't even mentioned that. You can zoom load in this game like the OG MW two way with equipment or knife. But you know what? I'll throw in some pad packets real quick. I'll see if it even affects my game and I'll see if you can wild scope. Ellie's. I don't believe there's actually any elevators. I'm not sure. Show the wall bang strength of the snipers and if it's weak like MWR was. Gotta see if on setup is gonna make his head about walls. I think right now it is exactly like MWR was. But there's some modding nerds on the case that are gonna try to fix that and make like the OG MW two was. Because obviously for the snipers, wall bangs are gonna affect collaterals as well and they're gonna hate that. So yeah, right now the version I'm playing it's exactly like MWR, but hopefully more like MW two in the version you guys play or later in the future. Or I said I'm guessing there's no moonwalks and stuff, but he's actually gonna be pleasantly surprised because you can moonwalk in the game. I don't know, it actually looks way better than the Goliath 2. I haven't really fucked around with running mans yet. I know moonwalks are pretty similar, so if you can running man, I'm gonna put that here, but yeah. If not, you're just gonna see the clip of the moonwalk. Knife lunges. I haven't gone over that yet. I haven't even tested that yet. Um, I can on a bot in private match, and if you can, well, you'll see it now, and if you can't, I'm going on to the next question. G flip. So G flip, like the actual animation works, but because they poured it over the gun, the MW2 campaign remastered version of the gun doesn't have it. I'm talking about the intervention, by the way, but like you actually can do the G flip, but the G flip doesn't like look right on this version of the intervention, unfortunately. But like I'm sure with other guns, I haven't fucked around with any of them yet. That one's kind of up in the air, but maybe with other guns like the M21 or something. And yeah, that's everything. As you guys can see, we're back at the care package stall from the beginning of the video. Oh, another random thing that's definitely gonna affect trick shotting, especially if you're an FFA trick shotter, it won't be as bad in SD, but the aim assist slowdown is crazy. Just on the old cards, the aim assist was just stronger, and then on PC on top of that. I don't know if it's because of high FPS or what, but it just feels so much more responsive. When you get to last in FFA or I guess even SD, I highly suggest going into your settings and turning aim assist off. But you obviously you're gonna want it till you get to last unless you're just goaded and cracked out of your mind. Or actually you could be a K-Band player because you can do that in this game. I know a huge complaint a lot of like OG trick shotters have about the new Call of Duty is that they can't sweat to last on keyboard and mouse and then trick shot on controller. But you guys already know the team over at H2M had to make everyone happy, and you know, they just decided to fix that as well. So yeah, you can now get to last on K-Bam and then just switch over your settings in game and trick shot on controller at last, and then if you're an SD, you can even switch in between rounds and all that but you can't use both at the same time they prevent that you have to change it in the settings so you can't like abuse it and get aim assist on mouse and keyboard i know people would try that too i actually hit my first trick shot on this game unfortunately i wasn't recording my face game reaction because it was just like my first game on i was hopped in the call with the homie Jaden, and honestly i was just setting up the game mode seeing if i'd set it up right and i ended up hitting like first round on and the shot actually utilized three of the different things i talked about in today's video so drop a comment below and let me know if you guys can tell what they are oh yeah one more thing you'll notice me like flick after i hit the shot i forgot after you hit the shot like when the round ends you can totally not move around but you can look around don't do that i didn't know you could don't make the same mistake as me but you can keep reloading why why you can do everything like any action you just can't move actually i don't know if you can equipment cancel and all that or shoot but you can reload you can why why just don't do any of that don't look around just try to stay still after for the editor's sake and yeah i think that's everything i wanted to say so enjoy my first shot on the game guys and peace out everyone neck out i'm out of the mwr bot setup method like while i wait for a solution I think we might get you onto- Oh, I hit! Let's go! Really? Really? Yeah, that was sick. Hey, my first on the game. Fuck yeah. Oh, that was sick. The wall thing? Hell yeah.